Hey there guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Ultima RTG. This could well be the biggest episode in the series. There is a huge decision that needs to be made and I believe it's the correct one, but I want to take your feedback on board before I make any mistakes. I still think that it's right. And I know I'm gonna look at the comment section and it's gonna get triggered. There is a ton of people that will hate me for this. But I'll explain things in just a second. It does involve Maradona, Del Piero, Fernandinho. Trust me, I'll explain things. Uh, but on your screen are the packs and my pack luck over the past couple of weeks has been immense. Yesterday, we did the rest of the world SBC. We got ourselves a uh, Danini. I think that's how you pronounce it. Otherwise, I'm being trolled. We'll use him in today's video in some live games. Test him out, you know. Good height, pace, physical, dribbling, shooting. I really like the look of him. So he's who we pulled. Then I did a couple more of those Bundesliga upgrade packs just because. And we packed Max. I think we've had him about three times now, but that's fine. Untradeable, can use him towards something, but it was really all about those weekly rewards. Last week, we finished Elite 1, got shafted. The other week, we finished Elite 1, and our best player was 78 rated from a two-player team in the season pack. This week, we fell short of Elite 1, and I was feeling something. Even though we had Elite 2 rewards, our 100k pack wasn't so bad with Rakitic, and that team of the season... Michi. You knew it was coming. Michi Bashoi. Well, I was using him uh, yesterday and the day before, in fact. Sold him for about 360, 370 then. And that one went for roughly like 350. I'll go and check the trade pile in a second. So that's 350,000 coins that we can use to invest back into the Syria upgrade packs or put towards something I have in mind. So I need to go and explain things. Otherwise, you won't know what the hell I'm on about. So if you can drop a like on the video to support the series, that'd be insane. Thank you. And let's go to the trade pile. So as you can see, we're back up to 2.8 million and we did have roughly three, but I've done a prime icon SBC. So essentially what I'm doing is turning our starting 11 into an untradeable team and then using those packs to open during team of the season. Zanetti is the one that I got. But I don't technically want to be using Zanetti in my team. So why have I got him? I needed an icon. And I think we're going to be doing R9. So I'll explain things in a second. But we have Carl Walker that sold for 490. Ronaldo, 600k. Marco Royce, I really wanted to pack him uh, in one of those Bundesliga upgrades. It never happened. 980 though is a very good price. Love Royce, but he's gone. Tellez, 25,000. This was the first Michi. I bought him for roughly like 350, 360. So that one went for 360. That one went for 349, the one that we packed from our weekly rewards. And Lozano, the team of the season is an improvement. You can fit it with his dribbling, his pace. His shooting is, is the weird one. I think I prefer the 84. He doesn't get as much power behind the strikes, but in actual fact, that's helping his finesse shots outside the box. There's something about that 84 that is broken, and it didn't really need to be fixed. So as we've got an untradeable 84, I'm going to continue using that one and set on the team of the season. Pope, 50,000, that's all good. And I'm trying my luck, really, with some of these silvers. I am completely clearing the club, preparing it for the World Cup game mode. I'm going on the market, having a look through at some of the silver prices. And most of the time, I'm listing them up for start price, 250, 300, and then 1,000 coins bin. And I've got tons of tons of silvers. So if we can generate maybe 100,000, 200,000, that is all coins at the end of the day. Wow. What are we going to be doing now, boys? Let's go and take a look at the R9 SBC. I know it's going to trigger a lot of people. I haven't done it yet, but I'll show you every single team and my idea of how this is going to work. So I've already completed two scores towards R9, but don't stress it. This was done ages ago. Remember when the base icon SBCs were available? I stuck in one for the 86 squad and I exchanged a striker for a jumbo rare players pack. But that's not what I want to speak about today. I know that a lot of you are going to get triggered when you see this, and that's why I need to explain things. So with Maradona, I openly admit that that SPC was a total waste of coins. 1.4 million, I shouldn't have unlocked him, but I was just so like narrow-minded, zoned into the fact that he was insane on my main account, brought him into the weekend league, and that three-star weak foot unfortunately does kill the card. 
if you are just a better player than me, maybe you'll be able to avoid that. But in the weekend league gameplay, I just can't shift it sometimes to his left foot. Then he gets bullied because of the lack of strength. One of those players that gets killed by the gameplay is unfortunately Maradona. And I just can't have that. So I'm thinking, what's the point of actually keeping him at the club? Because he doesn't get started. He doesn't even get used as a super sub. So let's try and get some use out of him. Because right now, it's just dead wood. He's sitting there. So why not invest a little bit more towards the R9 SBC? Bring Maradona in to really bring up the rating. And in total, like to complete R9 right now, it's going to set us back about 700,000 coins. And we're also getting back the 100k packs for the Serie A team in the season. And then not to mention, we've got ourselves a prime R9 to be played as a striker. So that's the first team uh, with Maradona. And if you're not triggered with that, then I know a lot of people are going to be upset because I've dropped in Del Piero. Now for me, I don't really hold any sentimental value. It doesn't make any difference. And again, another player that I don't use is Del Piero. So what's the point of keeping him at the club? When I can build like the mega main end game squad with R9. I do want to do it, but I don't want to annoy a lot of you because some of you might not even have a player like Fernandinho in your starting 11. And to see me put him into an SBC, I know that it will trigger a lot of people. But it's just the fact that our main starting 11 is that good. He doesn't make the team. And I don't really care to bring him on as a super sub. And when we have like a 93 rated card that's going to be really bringing up the rating. Why not get use out of these untradables? And it's the same with uh, Max. He's untradable. We packed uh, Danini. I don't even know how much I spent on that SBC. Most of the cards were untradable. So essentially we got back like 55, 60,000 for absolutely free. And then the last one I want to share with you is the 87. The rest of them are just very straightforward to complete. And then we drop in Zanetti that I did unlock. I'll have a straw poll linked at the top of the description or in the comments. And if um, you guys can vote, by the time I start streaming, which is around 4.30, uh, we will have a look at the straw poll. Whatever's won it, then I will purchase these players on stream and bring in R9 for this weekend league oh man i really want him and i want the packs as well but you guys decide if you think it's a bad idea and it's a waste to be dropping in these icons let me know in the comment section but let's go to the team and see what we've done with it so look at these guys in the reserves they don't even get used oh no an sbc now nah. you guys decide let me know in the comments but with uh, Keita, that's another player that I don't use, so he should be in the reserves. But I'm going to be testing him out in today's video, see what he can offer. And then later on, we'll submit him into whatever SBC you decide. Uh, Danini, 6'2", 3-star, three 3-star, three that does kill the card a little bit. But his in-game stats are impressive. The shooting, the dribbling, uh, well, his agility is 85, 74 balance. Shouldn't kill the card. Uh, the pace is nice and his strength is very good so i'm going to be playing a uh, 4 3 2 1. i have been using brahimi really like this card and i need to be scoring at least a goal in a win for the last four games for the challenge hopefully i complete that because that would be another team of the season that i can put towards a big sbc so we're going to do that maybe in today's episode or later today i'd have to remind myself but neymar's on the bench walker mares oh my god anyway boys let's jump into the visions test out keita and also danini and smash it up and we're up against akin fenwa bronze 64 rated i never actually did that weekly challenge what stats has he got that's a good ball no way oh christ i've been memed on Akin Fenwa has actually done it. What is up with my defending? It's embarrassing. Akin Fenwa, leave me alone. Danini, through ball. All right, here he is. Come on, run. He's got 99 sprint speed. I've got Sané tracking back. Finesse. Ooh, nice goal. But it doesn't really make any difference if I score with Hullet. I need to win the game and score a goal with Berahimi. Come on. No, again, awful defending, man. It's just embarrassing. I don't know what it is. I was playing really well in the 4-3-2-1 the other day. I just don't know what it is. One day I can defend really well, and then it's like I've completely forgotten 
the mechanics. Like, oh, I just don't get it. Come on. Brahimi, stop that ball. Finesse driven. There's the goal with Brahimi. All I've got to do now is win. Dungeon, no. Yeah, the strength. Oh my god. Nah, what a goal from Nanini. What a finish. He was holding off Leroy Sane, rolled his man, and now I just pinged it. What a strike. That was insane. Look at this goal, man. That was top corner. We'd love to see it. Ronaldinho. I'm waiting for that run. Danini, a little through ball. Go on, Hullet. End the game. End the game. 4 2. It's not a GG. I really need people to quit so I can get through them. Zanetti, big slide challenge before he gets submitted into something. That's fine. Danini, through. Good from Ronaldinho. One touch, low driven. So the finishing is there. It's just a problem with the three star, three star. Five goals in the first half. Damn. Well, Danini's been on the score sheet. Brahimi, we had Hullet. It's been a mixture. Yes, Brahimi. Go, 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 go. Hold on a minute. Yes, another fake shot. Beautiful. Three star. It is a card killer. It is. I love Brahimi. And there is that rage quit we were looking for. Game two. Herrera. Left center mid. Maybe a little bit weak for the game right now. You've got Keita. Off cam? No nonsense. Let's turn up. Rahimi. Wow. He feels actually insane right now on the ball. Oh, Brahimi! I wasn't lying when I did a video on him yesterday. I'll take that. Rene oh, through ball. What a pass from Ronaldinho. First time finish. You cannot deny that this guy has a good shot. I don't think I've missed a shot with uh, Danini. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. Last one for today, boys. And I am super hyped for that Serie A team of the season. 6 p.m. is coming out. Dybala, Mertens. I'm buying them. All right, he's starting to rush it. That was a huge touch from Keita. And that's what you don't want from your player. Good overlap. Give it straight back to him. The damn, he has a good shot. Even with his left foot. That was... Not off balance, but you wouldn't have thought it was going to go in the back of the net. Really good shot power. Fantastic accuracy. Christ's sake. All of a sudden, I can't make a simple A pass. Yo, what are these touches? Nah, 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 nah. We're not having that. I need that goal. You can give me bad touches after I get the goal. With Brahimi. Yes. On that right foot. Danger, man. Get there. Yes. Stop that. Oh, I love this guy. Why doesn't he have four-star weak foot? Seriously. I would genuinely use him in the weekend league if he had four-star weak foot. How has he just done that? He's got past nine Golan. He's, and he gets those lucky re... The guy's a glitch. He actually is broken. Not only did he run through nine Golan, but then he gets that lucky rebound and locks onto it straight away. <sighs> what a card. Let me go and check... How many games I've won towards this weekly challenge? So what have we got here? Uh, four out of five, and it refreshes in four hours. Oh my. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is play one game just before I go live on stream. So we will have this beast maybe put towards the R9 SPC if you guys agree with that. But yeah, four out of five, done. We should be able to do that, no problem. So you guys already know that Brahimi is an absolute beast for me. I played 13 games, 15 goals, three assists. And yes, the three-star weak foot does kill the card if you were to use him in the weekend league. But to have fun with in divisions, he is top quality. And if you're on that right foot, it's going in. But what would be nice for FIFA 19 is if they allowed us to work towards unlocking weak foot and skill move upgrades maybe every 
200th win, 300th win, you'd get a token that you can apply towards uh, your favorite player. Because if Brahimi got that four star week for upgrade, damn, he reminds me uh, like Amaris. Literally, he's playing like Amaris for me, but just a right footed version. He has everything apart from the skills and the weak foot that Maris can provide. He just is so good. I love him. It's a shame because I would use him in the weekend league. And then uh, Danini, my good guy, his shot was pretty overpowered. Would I use him again uh, to have fun with? Yes, but not in a serious team just because he has three star, three star. But he was scoring a few goals. And then Keita, he didn't really do anything. I wasn't impressed, man. Just not good enough. It, yeah, okay on the ball, a nice range of passing, but I need a little bit more from my midfielders. And that's where I'm going to end it, boys. So the question is, do we do the R9 SBC? Please do vote. Uh, maybe just in the comments, leave a comment. Uh, maybe click the straw poll as well. Vote there, and I'll add it all up, and we shall see. So the decision will be made later on tonight on stream. Link in the description. Come and check it out, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.